one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country, and they get there a ton. All right, we jump it up, and we are underway. Colorado, the opening possession. Here's a look at your starting five for the Buffaloes. Sherrod Sadler really make that backcourt go. Foreman, Miller, and Von Ley. Colorado on the inbounds. Foreman gets an open look from three, and that's rebounded by Sanaya Rivers. She's on the Naismith Trophy preseason watch list, and you see your starting five for NC State, Baldwin Collins, James Hayes, and Rivers. And Rivers misses the opening shot attempt for NC State. Finally talking to her guard. She wants to make sure she does not get a second foul on a screen. Quay Miller misses that three-point attempt. Knocked one in yesterday against Kentucky. Here's Hayes. She has been absolutely fantastic for NC State in this tournament. Had the first double-double in a season-high 16 points and a career-high 12 rebounds against Cincinnati. Von Ley going to work. Left it short. Von Ley having some trouble with the size of Baldwin. And Baldwin in transition. NC State takes advantage, having numbers. Transition baskets may be the difference in this game. Von Ley shot too strong. Here's Sadler. She's going to get whistled for the offensive foul. A good look at J.R. Payne. Your number eight leading Colorado has her Buffaloes ranked third in the country after opening the season with a victory over number one LSU. An experienced team that was in the Sweet 16 of last year's NCAA tournament. Baldwin getting hounded. Here's James now. Over to Collins. Ten on the shot clock. James thought about the three. Here's Rivers. Left side. Hayes beats the clock and knocks it in. Trying to play Von inside Lee. out, the buffs. Baldwin on her back. Von Ley shot up. Too strong. Here comes James. Off the rebound. Wants to attack the rim. Hits the brakes. Baldwin, the jumper from the free throw line. NC State, a 9-0 run to start the game. And there's the timeout. As the Buffaloes 0 for 7 shooting from the floor. For NC State, River Baldwin came in this tournament averaging four games. She's already got four. She's been averaging 10 and a half. For Colorado are not great three-point shooters. They can get to 17 feet. Shrod made her first three of the season yesterday. She's just one for 13. This is her game. Penetrate, kick, Von Ley with the finish. She's on the board. They use that give-and-go cut and post Mimi up quite often. That's a throw ahead to Madison Hayes, the senior. Shrod guarded by... Sanaya Rivers. See how packed in that defense is. Also white jersey at 17 feet. Sherrod gets it to go. Zoe Brooks, freshman guard, runs the point here for NC State. And the freshmen for the Wolfpack have been dynamite down here. It is one of the best recruiting class. To the free throw line goes Mimi Collins. NC State has this nice blend of youth and experience. Westmore is taking the sixth straight NCAA tournament bid. Who can get back and get the ball stopped in transition will win this game. Miller catch and shoot three. That's no good. Colorado 0 for 6 from three-point land. Quay Miller has been settling for jump shots. I'd rather see her on the post. Really good matchup here between Miller and Mimi Collins. Their games are almost carbon copies. Rivers guarded by Weta. And Rivers' shot is short. Here's it made the throw Rivers ahead. take tough shots. And Weta through contact, no whistle. Rivers comes away with the stop. Here's the dump inside. Collins working against Miller. And a jump ball is called underneath. Sarah Rose Smith in the game for the first time here in this 
Top 10 matchup, number three, Colorado, and number 10, NC State. Both teams 2-0 and in their trip to the Paradise Jam thus far. River Baldwin with that basket. A season high, 11.6 rebounds against Kentucky. That was the opener for NC State. And Foreman steps out of bounds. Baldwin having a great tournament for the Wolfpack. Double figures in each game. As Baldwin underneath draws the foul. Good catch. Von Lee just gets her arm caught inside. Screen in the early part of the game because the officials are trying to blow the early whistle. Mimi Collins with the rejection. This is Smith on the drive. Out to Weta. Weta. Dumped it off to Whitaker. Wasn't ready. Expecting a shot. It's going to be Wolfpack basketball. If you can't shoot threes and reverse the ball, you have to attack it on reversals. Final minute of this opening quarter. And River Baldwin now into double figures with 10. She came in averaging four a game. Coming out party for River Baldwin. Pull up jumper for Foreman. That won't fall. And Sherrod tries to save it from going out of bounds. They need to find some offense. The buffs. Slow out of the gate. Brooks back to Collins. Collins adds three more. That's how we end the first quarter. Mimi Collins. It's NC State's second triple of this opening quarter and the Wolfpack up big. The freshman averages 10 a game and is halfway there. Five points here at the end of the first quarter. River Baldwin for NC State. She's into double figures already. Already above her season average of points per game. And Von Ley back in the game with two fouls. Sherrod launches the jumper. Here comes Brooks. Brooks goes right to the rim and gets the bump. And and one coming for the young freshman, Zoe Brooks. I talked to the radio personnel of both teams. They both said the same thing. This game's going to come down to transition. Transition defense. Straight line drive right down Main Street. Bonley has to be careful with those two first quarter first personal fouls. And there's a block by Baldwin underneath. Baldwin winning the battle of the bigs. Baldwin at 6-5. Von Ley at 6-3. And here's Baldwin inside. Working against Von Ley and gets the foul from behind on Foreman. What has happened here, really the score in transition, it's taken Colorado out of their game. Team has a matchup board guy. Von Ley inside. As Baldwin winning her matchup in this game. There's the full court pass ahead. Buffs are getting burned. Nine points for Madison Hayes. There's the jumper from Nolan. Maddie no Now they can set their defense. Before they were running back in transition, the ball was going over their head. And they've kept Rivers under control. Here's Rivers breaking loose. Oh, the fake pass, but an offensive foul. Miller, Weta turns the corner, misses the layup, gets the rebound, and throws it up top. Nolan fires the three. Nolan back-to-back -back baskets. See you a top program again. Commits the foul, checks out as NC State back to work. Baldwin gets stripped. Here comes Sadler. Out to the corner. Nolan's hit the last two. Make it three in a row for me. This is a game about transition baskets. Rivers too fast on the layup. Here comes Sherrod. There's the speed of the buffs. Get it to the hot hand. Heat check and Nolan just off on that triple try. There's Brooks in transition. Von Ley has to be careful. Oh, that Call you're in the game for NC State, a freshman at 6'3. Von Lay's going to give his 
post player arrest also. So he's got the backup post going to work. And Whitaker throws it away. It's this pack line NC State defense. And here's a foul on Whitaker. This is their 10th attempt at the free throw line today. James gets them. State, they will burn you at the line. Sadler back to Sherrod, slicing through the lane, and the foul. And the Wolfpack, they the three-point line, so they're packing those defenders in. Maddie Nolan came off the bench, gave a lift to the Buffaloes. Following her own shot to Isaiah James's column. Transition baskets, second chance opportunities destroy you. And they continue to go underneath the screens on Sadler and Sherrod. Whitaker lets the three fly. And a foul on the rebound. I think this will go on Collins. For the Wolfpack, as is Maddie Cox, a 6'2 freshman. As is Rivers, and they've done this with Rivers has not scored. They've racked up 35 points. Rivers still with a goose egg. Here's Sherrod inside. Whitaker finishes. There's Baldwin inside. Too strong. Whitaker ahead to Sherrod. She wants to push. Foreman goes inside to Miller. Miller working against Baldwin. Good finish inside. For the Buffs. Rivers still looking for her first points of this game. 0 for 5 to start for Sanaya Rivers. Look inside. Watch her go below the ball screen. And Sherrod hits the jumper. It was a deeper screen, so Sherrod gets an easy 15-footer. I would keep setting the screen lower and lower if that defender is going to go below. Baldwin. Sadler launches the three. They're and okay Whitaker with that comes shot. up with the offensive rebound. Now Sadler drives and gets the foul called. So the screen at 18 feet. Now they're doing it about 16 feet. NC State led by as many as 23. Sadler gets one of two free throws. And I think we're going to have more free throws here for Whitaker. The foul goes on Hayes. They can cut this thing down going into halftime. They can feel pretty good about where they're at. And then you got Von Lake and come back and play. Free throws are huge in this basketball game. Still fired up about this foul on the free throw. That's four point. Could have, but well, could Whitaker. Be. Could be a five-point play. Whitaker gets her own rebound off the missed free throw. Now watch these ball screens and the space that Sherrod has to play with. That's a catch and shoot three for Nolan. Hayes goes up to get the rebound. 13-point game after the free throws for Colorado. Cox from the corner. Here they come. Sherrod in transition out in front of everybody. Pull-up jumper. And it's going to be last touch by Cox. Well, Colorado has cut that 23-point lead down to 13 points. There's two ways to slow down a team that runs as well as NC State does. Number one, you go to the free throw line and make them. And you go back and set your defense. And you throw it in the post. Make them guard inside. That also helps get your defense set. Now Brooks up ahead. Hayes turns the corner. Dumps it to Baldwin. There's the dump off. That's good officiating because you don't need to call a technical in that situation. It, this young woman's having the game of her life right now, River Baldwin. She is excited. Gets them both. 16 points. Here's Sherrod. Too strong off the window. And a jump ball is called it. So NC State basketball, River Baldwin, a season high 16 points with 30 seconds to go here before the break. Oh 
Brooks dribbling. Now in trouble. Turnaround jumper. Oh, gets it to go. Brooks right before the horn. Here comes Sherrod trying to get a shot off. Has to launch it. Gets it off just in time. But wide left. NC State. A 15-point lead led by 23. We begin the third quarter. This top 10 battle in Paradise. The U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. 10th ranked NC State. A red hot start in the first quarter. Shooting into the beach zone. Miller misses the first shot as Colorado attempts a three on possession number one. Horn set. And they tried to step out and get a three ball for Miller on that. There's Baldwin attacking. Shoots over Rivers. Offensive rebound by Miller. The putback won't fall as Baldwin took a tough spill. Heading back to the defensive end of the floor. Avonley playing with three fouls. Has to be careful. And NC State attacks her. They know she has to be careful. Great point, Brad. I'd go right inside. Put the pressure on Vonley. She's averaging 18 a game. Only had two in the first half. 0 for 2 from the outside to start for Colorado. They were 0 for 6 from three-point land in the first quarter when NC State opened up a 22 to 6 lead. And how about more from River Baldwin as this is a career high now for the fifth-year senior out of Alabama. There's Von Ley draws the foul on Baldwin. Coach, I ran into River Baldwin down. There's a little shop just out. She has like a pregame drink. She says, no, I usually go to Starbucks for a pregame drink on game day, though. Well, it may be NC State, the red hot start. Oh, this nice first rebound half. Baldwin. Sadler. They do go inside. Von Ley working against Baldwin. And Baldwin. Rips it away from Sadler to avoid the jump ball. Here comes James all the way to the rim. James. Foreman for three. It's good. Colorado connects from the outside. NC State's going to collapse into the paint. A walk-up three. Foreman on the career list for most threes made in Colorado history. Leads the team this season once again. Well, Von Ley almost picked up another foul and Rivers, Rivers another assist. Picks up a dime. Nice play. Coach, she's on track for a double double and she has zero points. How about six rebounds, <laughs> seven assists? Uh, we talked to some WNBA scouts, and this is the person in this tournament they have their eye on. And foul called on Sadler. This may be an intentional foul called on Sadler as Rivers. Well, this is off a of steal. We talked about transition points, trying to reach across and get the ball, but all both arms. And it is. Yeah, you might be good if just that left arm coming down, but that right arm that wraps around the back. So to the free throw line, Rivers, her first point of the game comes here at the 621 mark. Trying to high low look at Baldwin in the post again, but Von Ley is able to shove her out. Rivers off the mark. Offensive rebound for Hayes. Two more for Madison Hayes. Hayes Into double anticipated figures. Anticipated that miss. Got inside position. There's Von Ley. That's where she gets her points in transition. Baldwin's got to get inside. James for three. James is good. There's Von Ley. Shoots Not her it from shot. the elbow. Miller will fire the three. And that's good. That's the 4-3 for Colorado on 18 attempts. And Rivers State really trying to post up. Now they run their horns. It's going to end up with a high-low look. Rivers resets. There's a jumper. First field goal of the game for Sanaya Rivers. And Sherrod drugged the pivot foot. River Baldwin is having a game of her life. And that's what these 
you got number three against number ten. Usually someone that you don't expect is the difference maker in this team in these types of games. It's Baldwin today. Maddie Nolan, Kendall Weta on the floor for Colorado, as well as Sarah Rose Smith. Here's Rivers Power Conferences and NC State. That first quarter, man, they just took control and said, we're not looking back. Von Ley whistled. And they've hit big shots. Of course, that game against UConn, it took 33 points from Sanaya Rivers to get the win. And in the first half, it was everybody except Sanaya Rivers. This team has very good balance, the Wolfpack. There's Foreman for three. Rattles that one home. Foreman. Six points for Frida. Minute 30 left here in the third quarter. I can see how spread out this Colorado defense is compared to what we see the Wolfpack do with their pack line. Rivers left side. Three-point try. No for James. The putback. Really good post play for the Wolfpack. They've been deep at the five spot. They've all produced. Foreman pull-up jumper from the baseline. Foreman with eight points for the Buffaloes. Wolfpack icing those side ball screens, pushing the baseline. They're going to go below on certain players. They did a great job on Von Ley. Your players to understand the scouting report. This is a very high the ball in her hands right there. They were ranked number four in the nation. And they're bringing the class next year ranked in the top ten also into Raleigh, North Carolina. Wes Moore, the 2021 National Coach of the Year. Won three state straight NC, uh, ACC tournaments 2020. Attacked and scored in the paint, and that was their... M.O. coming into this game. How many paint touches can the Buffaloes get? There's some great inside-out action. Inside from Von Ley to Miller. The double team comes. The wraparound. It's another rebound for Baldwin. About 24 points. Eight rebounds for River Baldwin. NC State has swarmed the block when the ball has gone in there. So much so they can't even pass it back out. I have been so impressed by their defense. Shot clock down to three. The drive, the lay in, yes. James wired to score the basketball. Four NC State players in double figures and an illegal. She does so much. She's got a great basketball IQ, makes so many plays. Oh, that's big time right oh, there. And she can hit jumpers too. And she's going to make a good official because she made that call <laughs> on that last play. 13 points for James. Von Ley, the kick out. Madison Hayes has really been, she's on the bench right now, but she has had, quietly had a great game. There's Brooks, gets blocked by Foreman. Well, Brooks gets blocked, but she gets her own miss back. Play the basket off a of trap. That is a excellent front line in the ACC. Talk about the movement in the top ten. Here's Sherrod off the window. Draws the foul. We'll go in front of NC State. Could easily see NC State jump up. But they're going to be moving, and it won't be the opposite direction. But here's another problem that you have if you're Colorado. They are giving other teams the blueprint on how to defend this Colorado team. Because mm -hmm. it has been outstanding game preparation and the way they defended certain personnel and stagnated the offense of this is a high powered Buffalo offense and it has been running with a flat tire. On the game just shooting 28% from the floor and that's 17 turnovers now given up by Colorado as they take one back. Out to Sadler shoots the three. And rebound it. And, and that makes, when you do that, Brad, 
a great OB play there. When you do that. And combined, Schrod and Sadler over four from the outside. Miller with the steal. Well, they came to this tournament a combined 0 for 16. She walks out. She's got nine points. I got her for 13 points. We're updating faster than mine, their <laughs> partner. You're the tech guy on this crew. 70-49, number 10, NC State leading number three, Colorado. Here in the championship game of the Island Tournament. Came out of the gate fast and never let up. And it started with that young lady. Will grab its first win over the Pac-12. Defeated three others with just one loss. Well, another triple. Well, Kevin, tremendous build up here with this top 10 team and this battle between the two top 10 teams. He had a win over number one, LSU for Colorado, the win over number two. UConn for NC State. Well, that is just a superior game by River Baldwin. Arinette Von Ley, but River Baldwin had a different idea. Seven assists. Really good floor game. Sherratt goes hard right at Maddie. Jalen Sherratt, 14 points, four assists. As Coach Payne has a good one right there. The court never changes expression dishes it back to Cox three-pointer no good another rebound for Sherrod Brooks get a bad call hit a turnaround jumper contested no matter what happens never changes expression tremendous Jay focus Jalen Sherrod jumper is good but this the defensive scheme by Westmore and his staff. Outstanding. Steele finds the opening. Sherrod another. And that'll be our next Good game. Win. Cincy and Kentucky playing for the third place of the island division of this tournament. It was really dominant wins by NC State and Colorado in both days. Certainly, that's why we expectation for this huge matchup. <laughs> Zoe Brooks is gonna be fun to watch, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, never changes expression. Another day at the office for Brooks. It's Michaela Johnson, the redshirt freshman, putting it in out of Anchorage, Alaska. And Brooks will dribble this one out. Final score is going to be 78-60, an 18-point win for number 10, NC State, the Wolfpack. Take care of number three, Colorado, as the Buffaloes pick up their first loss of the season. Impressive.